today we'll review the Yeti Goal Zero lithium 12 volt regulated cable. I paid $39.95 for it from Amazon plus taxes and you may ask why you spent 40 plus dollars on a 12 volt regulator cable if your Yeti has a 12 volt output already. So let's open this cable and see how it looks. So here it says Goal Zero Yeti 1000, 3000 lithium power stations. And then over here, it does say 12 volt and 15 amperage max on both sides, the high power and then the 12 volt power output. So this is the regulator. It is heavy a little bit for what you think it is. And it comes with this Anderson connector so and then also it comes with an output anderson connector and a female uh, 12 volt car connector okay this one is thinner cable this one is thicker okay so it's pretty simple you just connect this to the anderson connector at the front and then so this was go to the anderson connector high power port at the front and then if i press 12 volt this light should come on right there. But I'm glad Goal Zero produced this device and that mitigates the issue that many of us have with those uh, power stations. So let's test this with the fridge that I have here. So the power is off now. I will connect the DC port from the fridge, which is a Snowmaster Expedition series, and connect it to this port right here. Like so. So now I should be able to turn this on so now the fridge is on. It says there's power on it. And uh, if you look at the remote control, it shows that it has power, but it is off. So now here I could turn the fridge on and here we go. You see here, It indicates that the battery is sourcing 13.5 volts right here, which is perfect. And also it shows it's full. Right now it's showing 87%. So we want it to show full because that lets the fridge draw the right amount of amperage that it's need or, or, or wattages that it needs to cool off and then keep it, uh, keep the food within the right temperature in the freezer and uh, fridge section. So that's why it is so important to have this regulator to run your uh, camping or, or uh, portable fridge or freezer remotely. You could see now it's drawing 50 watts, 53, 56, 59, 62, 66. Let's keep climbing up, settle down at 67 because it's trying to cool off to the right temperature. 
So now this is gonna cool off to one for the freezer, 36 for the fridge. And you see here, the fridge gonna stop drawing any power when the voltage reaches 10 volt. And I could set this up with Snowmaster. I could set this up to take three sorts of voltage here. I could do 11.8 or 10.7 or 10 volts. So when this one reaches on mine, I have set it up to 10 volts so that until it reaches 10 volt, because you know, this is not depend my car uh, doesn't rely on this battery to start. So I have set it up at 10 volt minimum for the fridge to stop. So this fridge gonna run until it reaches 10 volt. Otherwise it's gonna continue to run. But hopefully this regulator now gonna help me keep this fridge running until this battery is drained. And that's exactly what I needed. So per goal zero, the Yeti lithium 12 volt regulated cable is used to regulate the HPP output of a goal zero Yeti lithium to a consistent voltage, improving compatibility with a 12 volt powered devices. They also note that compatible with Yeti lithium power stations like this one, the Yeti 1000. This product is not needed for the Yeti X power stations. These are the new line of Yeti power station. They have an X on them. Uh, and it's this one is not required for them. And I'll tell you why. Or Yeti lead acid power stations as 12 volt regulation is included in, ba in the base product. And that's exactly why. The Yeti 1000 12 volt output is not regulated. These USB ports are regulated in this Yeti 1000. The 12 volt output is not regulated. And that's a source of tons of frustration to a lot of folks that have been using this Yeti 1000 or any Yeti that does not have X on it. In, in the model number. So I've been using this Yeti to power my uh, Snowmaster Expedition uh, fridge and freezer when we go camping. One of the issue you discover when you use some of the refrigerators that require regulated power is that if you use this power station when the power level here reaches around 60, 65%, your fridge pretty much shuts down. The reason these fridges have been designed like that, so that typically when you connect them to your car built-in power source, they put a safety net within them so that they don't drain your start battery so that your car, if you're camping, can still start normally and the battery would have power to run the engine. And these refrigerators are smart enough to know when the battery gets limited on power, so they shut themselves down. And the Snowmaster does exactly the same thing. So the output of this cable is 12 volt and up to 15 amperage max. And that applies to both ports, right? So it applies to using it with the uh, uh, high power port or the female cigarette port. Both of them are 12 volt and 15 amperage max. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.